Hi, I'm Mark Alfonso from PLC Electronics. Today we're going to go through our new Bartek V2-2 receiver, which works with the Bartek digital system. We've got it set up today on a Sony FS7 camera here. We're going to go over the setup as well as some of the features that the receiver has. So here on the left side plate of the V2-2, we've got our motor connections. So here's our focus motor we'll plug in here and our iris or zoom motor we'll plug in here. These are standard 7-pin Limo motor connectors that will work with most digital motors. We've also got a recalibration switch here, which is a push button, and that'll allow you to initiate the recalibration on the lens. So in the right side face of our receiver here, we've got a power connector, which will take 10 to 30 volts in. You've got an auxiliary connector here, which has uh, some additional features that we're adding over time. But as an example, you can plug in a focus controller or an analog focus controller in there. And you also have got your run stop here to plug into your various cameras. Okay, so here we have our selection for the calibration type, whether it's automatic for most cinema lenses that have end stops or manual, which would be your DSLR lenses without end stops. We've got our focus limits, which lets you set the range of the focus travel that you wanna go at. For our direction switch for the motor, our torque, which is set very similar to how our single channel is, which is with the focus knob on the handset. For a second channel motor, here we've got direction and torque, as well as a selection between iris channel data or zoom channel data. We've got an LED bar graph here to give us our received signal strength, as well as a flashing blue light to indicate that we're getting data packets in. And we've got a channel selection as well as display. So with our new two channel system, you've got access to your focus, as well as iris. And also we've added a method of back driving the lens. So if your operator's on the camera and they need to change your focus manually, they're able to do that. But as soon as you go and touch the wheel on your handset, it'll move back to position. So inside our receiver, we have a voltage up converter. So no matter what voltage you power it, even down to 10 volts, you still get the perfect 24 volts that the motor wants to see in order to make it as quick as possible. Our DSP processor also receives the 300 frames per second over the wireless system and that allows us to have a very smooth, precise operation while maintaining a super fast ability to react to any changes over the wireless that's not seen by any other receiver on the market. Thank you for your feedback on our single channel system over the last few years. We're very excited to be launching a multi-channel receiver with a lot of additional features to help you with your production on a day-to-day -day basis. Thank you for watching.